We'll start this lesson off by watching a skateboard sliding along the pavement. Much like Jennifer on her skateboard, a translation is a slide from one location to another. A translation is not a change in size. And a translation is not a change in orientation. When translating a point P with coordinates X, Y, we can use the capital T notation. Our point P with coordinates X, Y is translated to the new point P prime. Notice that the A and B values correspond with the X and Y coordinates of the point P as it's translated to P prime. By applying these values, we can find the coordinates of the image P prime. Let's start our first example by performing the following transformation on line segment PQ. We can start by writing down the coordinates of the endpoints of PQ with P at 3, 0 and Q at 6, negative 6. Now since this line segment is being translated, we know that P prime and Q prime will have different coordinates than P and Q. Since our first value is a negative 8, we'll subtract 8 from both X values. And remember that the x-axis is horizontal, so negative 8 for x means moving to the left 8 spaces. Our second value, positive 4, corresponds with the y values, so we will add 4 to each y value. And that is the same thing as going up 4 units. And now that we have our path laid down, we can look at the graph and visualize that line segment PQ being translated to its new location at P prime, Q prime. Finally, we can verify our final coordinates by finding the first x value, 3 minus 8, is negative 5. 0 plus 4 is just positive 4. And now for q prime, 6 minus 8 is equal to negative 2. And the final coordinate, negative 6 plus 4, is equal to negative 2. Notice that these points correspond with our graph for the image of line segment P prime Q prime. Now we can visualize and conceptualize just what it means for a line segment to be translated by sliding it from one location on the coordinate plane to another. For our last example, we are going to construct the image of triangle E prime, F prime, G prime after the following transformation. We'll start off by writing down the coordinates of the vertices of triangle E, F, G. To find the coordinates of E prime, F prime, and G prime, we'll start by applying the values of the translation. The x value is 6, so we're going to add 6 to all of the x values in each coordinate. Positive 6 calls for us to slide 6 units to the right horizontally along the x-axis. Next is the y value of negative 1. We are going to subtract 1 from all of the y coordinates. On the graph, negative 1 means to move down vertically 1 unit along the y-axis. Now to verify the coordinates of E prime, F prime, and G prime. We start by adding 6 to each x coordinate, and that'll give us the new x coordinate of e prime, f prime, and g prime. We'll do the same thing with the y coordinates by subtracting 1 from each to get those new y coordinates. Now we can look at the graph and visualize the original image being translated to the right 6 units and down 1 to its new location at e prime, f prime, g prime. And we can see that our points E prime at negative 2, negative 2, F prime at positive 6, positive 1, and G prime at 3, negative 9 all correspond. And we can take one last look at that figure taking a slide across the coordinate plane. Some quick final words on translations. 
A translation is when a point or image changes location without changing size or direction. We know that the notation for translation requires applying the A value to the X coordinate and the B value to the Y coordinate. Just like a skateboarder, a translation is a slide from one location to another. Thanks a lot guys for checking out that lesson. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and head on over to mashupmath.com for more content and practice activities. You can also follow Mashup Math on Instagram and Twitter for daily updates, answer keys, and more exclusive content. So please hit us up and let us know what you think. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah.